We call it Habits of the Mind and we've become a, what we call a mindful school. It's a philosophical stance that whatever we do is with the idea of becoming ethical decision makers, good people with a concern for each other, for the community, for the world at large. And through the Habits of Mind, we're able to work together as a school community to develop mindful human beings, whether it be our teachers, our community members, our children, um, our parents. We all work to find ways to evolve ourselves as mindful human beings, as ethical decision makers who feel really um, the need to be of service to making the world a better place. been a tremendous amount of community engagement in what we do. For example, we have a farm that goes on in the back of our school where we harvest and we sell our produce and we're connecting with various restaurants in our community. We have a huge after-school program in which we have tremendous amount of community um, involvement when our community people are our teachers. This is our new cooking cart we got. Um, Miss Debbie bought it for us. Here we have, we're making like a salad. In Garden Club we make sh strawberry, papaya, and banana smoothie. So the community involvement has really involved a lot of our neighbors, the residents in the area, a lot of community groups like Kanu Hawaii, Kokua Hawaii Foundation, corporate sponsors like Safeway and City Mill has supported what we've been doing, Tree Planting Foundation, the Town Restaurant has purchased produce from the garden, Hula Grill has just forged a partnership with us. Sometimes kids sit in here to work a problem out. Like if they're like mad at each other or sad, they could sit in here and try to make the other person feel better or try to work it out. Aquaponics is like a circle. It first it goes into here and this right here like sucks up the water and puts it back down in the fish. It's like a big circle. It goes right through the sponge, so it's just reusing water basically. And for us, like the, the algae gets stuck on the sponge, so it's basically not wasting water. The sonar panels can like shine so instead of instead of using our electricity to um, make make the food, they just use the, um, up there from the side. We have the solar panels, which are hooked up, going down all the way to this circuit breaker, but when you plug it in, you can make the solar flow straight to the battery. Pretty much what we're doing here is converting solar energy into chemical energy, into kinetic energy. We're trying to give off the word that it can be done and to have sixth graders do it shows how easy it is. You spin the electric motor, which creates electricity. Then it charges the battery. The battery. Right. We're trying to save energy so then we don't have as much global warming.
throughout the song, it like speeds up to make the to make the songs funnier and make the audience laugh. <laughs> It's like having fun, but still like being mindful at the same time. You know, one of the greatest intelligent behaviors is the ability to laugh, to see the inconsistencies the, and the incongruities. And so be sure and laugh with your children. Have fun. Furthermore, let you, your child uh, see you laugh at yourself. And that ability to be open-minded, to change, to look at things in different ways is a sign of flexibility. And we want your child or daughter to do that as well. Metacognition basically means that we're able to take charge of and to manage our thinking processes. So when we solve a problem, we say, okay, uh, let's, let's put a problem-solving process to work, and I, can, I know where I am, I know how to back up, I can manage that inside my head. We, <laughs> we know that intelligent people, uh, when they confront a problem, one of the first things they say is, what does this remind me of? When have I run into this before? What strategies do I have in my head from previous experience that I could use now? So we're trying to help your kid know strategies and the desire for completeness, accuracy, fidelity, perfection. Uh, we want your children to learn how to use their creative juices, and they all have them. And so we are teaching your child how to use brainstorming and mind mapping and use of metaphor. So let your kids see you have a sense of wonderment and intrigue and fascination. Times we have kids who are afraid to ask questions. They're afraid to try something new. They're afraid they're going to be wrong. I want to tell you something. There's no such thing as a mistake. So there's no such thing as failure, but rather there are many experiences that we have that provide us a rich opportunity for learning. Remaining open to continuous learning. Um, we never complete these habits of mind. We never master them entirely. And to be successful, you have to continue to learn throughout a lifetime. Young children learn best to imitation of imitating the significant adults around them and you are the first adult that they imitate and their teacher is the second adult do dreams mean anything or are dreams important sometimes i think dreams can give me a sign and that your dreams were about stuff you usually see, saw that day maybe you get nightmares because like like on that day you had like you felt something scary or something like that what you're seeing when you're watching the P4C session, you'll see the use of what we call the community ball, which is invested in the power of who's to speak. So you see the children taking over, in a way, this responsibility, if you will, as to who's going to speak and in what order. So it's no longer the teacher who's going to be primarily directing, but the kids themselves are directing the flow of the inquiry. We usually pick a topic first, what we all wonder about. Is everyone listening and listening with empathy? Something that's bothering you, you can probably get such suggestions from other people. Welcome to our third quarter Mindful School Assembly. All the habits of mind are practiced because this Mindful School Student Award goes to people who practice all the habits of mind and set good examples for all the students. We want a world that is much more compassionate. We want a world that is more thoughtful. We want to be able to solve problems in thoughtful ways rather than fighting with each other. We want to be able to communicate across different cultures and across different languages. And so it starts right here in school. And the reason why is because the future is in your homes and in our classrooms today. People want a better world. I don't know anyone who doesn't want a better world. What they want to know is how do we do this? What can we do? And what's so powerful about Waikiki School is if you want to see some very powerful ideas, concrete ideas about how to realize that vision and that dream, come to Waikiki School. I think 
all in all, everyone who has graduated from this school helps everyone in the community just by demonstrating their habits of mind, which is definitely something that needs to be brought out to our community.